the idea had been by central banks to introduce this, as we said, central bank digital currency. But have you ever seen an article or a video or, you know, whatever description of what it actually looks like? I mean, with central bank paper money, we know what it looks like, right? Yeah. yeah. Bank digital currency, we know, and you know, we've used it ourselves. We know what it looks like. But what does central bank digital currency look like? You see, so they never talk about that because people won't actually like the looks of it. Yeah, because it apparently looks, and and several central banks apparently, as I, as I heard from my sources, have already fully developed the final stage of CBDC. I mean, it comes in stages initially, likely through your mo mobile phone, yeah. but that's only an intermediate step. Mm. And the final stage is, you know, it's, it's small and it's the size of a, a grain of rice. Now, why is that? And it, it, that grain of rice is your entire wallet? or? Yes, it's your digital ID, yeah. your wallet, uh, can be your, your, um, your passport, your key. Um, now, of course, what we found with our debit cards or credit cards is, They've already now moved to the system, you know, RFID chips, um, RFID yeah. um, technology, where you just wave the thing, yeah. contactless. Yes, that is sort of the, the you know conditioning us in this direction. That yeah. in the future you'll just wave your hand because you've got the microchip, the, the microchip implant yeah. under your skin, yeah. um, and because you know. And each, each step, there's a rational reason, you know, it's, it's easier just to wave this, isn't it? It's much faster because we always have to wait in the queues as everyone types in their numbers and all that. So just wave it, it's quicker. Uh, but the, the next rationalization would be, well, but you can lose your card, somebody can steal your card, mm. and then you're just waving, yeah. that's kind of risky. Well, yeah. wouldn't it be nice if you couldn't lose it and nobody could steal it? Um, you know, so, but it's clear that that's, sort of, it is almost a step too far for a lot of people because it is a violation of human dignity to actually inject something like that under the skin. So mm. um, that's where you need some more persuasion. Yeah. And it's interesting that this concept of universal basic income has been around for around a century where everyone should get some kind of citizen's you know, payment. Uh, but the, the billionaire elites have so far not liked that. But since 2015, they've all come out. I mean, all the, the big billionaires and, and World Economic Forum have come out, oh, this is a good idea, universal basic income. Well, why suddenly now? Because now we have the technology for the microchip implant. Um, and so in 2017, Bill Gates came out and said that universal basic income is a good idea um, but it's too early to introduce it. Now, what was still missing, so we had the technology for the microchip implant, but what was missing was the digital ID hadn't been introduced. Now, this is where this whole COVID agenda had become very useful. Mm. 